Hello there, you're watching CNN Money Switzerland and in this episode we're looking at how digitalization has been impacted by coronavirus. I'm delighted to welcome my guest, Stan Paramat, who's co-founder of Privitam, bringing tech to wealth management. And Stan, that's where I want to begin because wealth management is certainly in its early stages, in its infancy in embracing digital transformation. Why do you think that is? I really think that digitalization is a great opportunity for investors and wealth managers, but you're right. Uh, I think part of the industry uh, is not using it yet completely. I would say that my industry, my, I would say investment industry is, not, is late in, in digitalization, uh, mainly. I would say for bonds, equity funds, I think you find amazing fintechs and amazing companies doing a great job in providing wealth managers. But regarding to more tailor-made investments, what we call structured product, it's more difficult to get a, a, a good service, I would say. So I guess that also means that there's plenty of opportunity out there. Exactly. This is opportunity that my clients gave me in 2014. Actually, uh, as a co-founder of Privatam, uh, I was inspired by my clients. In 2014, my clients, I was working in an investment bank, told me, Stan, you really have to launch your own independent company to be like a multi-issuer multi provider for me and also to be able to build a multi-product monitor so I can follow all this information, all this huge information in one place. This is what we built at Pratam basically in, uh, in 15. And your clients are wealth managers themselves. They're not individual investors. No, we don't speak to individuals. We really speak with wealth managers. I would say today we have like 500 wealth managers uh, trusting us in the world uh, in 15 countries. So what actually do you offer them? I mean, paint a picture for somebody who's not involved in structured products. I would say that we offer um, a service that is based on two pillars, which is, is very important for me, on experts. So we have 45 people at Pratam. And everybody at Privatam is really dedicated to serve these wealth managers together with the proper technology uh, in order for them to find and um, to make the best decision and find the best investment for their high net worth individual clients. So going to details even a bit more, uh, when a wealth manager is contacting us, he is seeking main, usually for a tailor made investment. So basically he's trying to tailor a risk profile for his clients. And this is why we are uh, building also with the help of investment bank behind that we are comparing in terms of pricing, in terms of quality of the product, liquidity, et cetera, et cetera. So you describe so yourself are, like an Expedia, but for the structured product world. This is correct. Expedia will be, I would say exactly for, for like a comparator of, of, of banks in online. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Why don't banks do this themselves? Uh, it's a very interesting question. I started in the French bank in New York in 2004, and I really thought people were overcomplicating uh, uh, the structured product industry. Um, it cost me a bit of time to understand really what was a structured product. And today, after 17 years working in a leading company in the industry, I think I'm able to explain it to my uh, grandfather. He's a winemaker, 97 years old, and I really think he, he, he actually he understood in 30 minutes, he really understood the structured product. And this is what I'm trying to achieve uh, today with my clients. I'm really trying to democratize, uh, I would say, the access of the shorter product. We are really trying to remove the mystery of the shorter product, thanks to education, thanks to easy information uh, uh, to wealth managers. And we, made, I mean, we make it, sorry? No, I was just going to ask, I mean, uh, why are structured products so complicated if they're so complicated that wealth managers themselves don't understand? This seems complicated, but they're not complicated. I think it's a lack of education. It's a lack of spending time with the clients, telling them uh, what should they do in, in, in this or this scenario, like a doctor with doing like a scanner of, the, of his patient, I would say. Uh, um, but I really, I'm a strong believer in structured product. But they get a bad rep. They, yeah, they have a bad rep. Again, this is for the same reason, because I would say of uh, the industry at some point overcomplicated uh, the short product. But then I really believe that today any wealth manager should use a short product. Let me give you an example, Anna. Uh, thanks, since four months, we have very volatile markets. We could see that the, 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 the market went down a lot, recovered a lot. We are going to the high again. It's very volatile. What should you do as an investor? 
Will you buy safely an inv a direct investment like a stock today? Yes, but risky. Why not investing in, in, a, in a strong product offering you like downside protection in case this stock is going down? This is what we offer. So basically in transversal markets, in risky markets, we can really lower the risk for a nice return. This is what we do. So you have the kind of holy grail for wealth managers. You, they're looking for technology. You've got the, the solution. So, so why don't they buy you? Are you for sale? They are buying us. Uh, uh, I mean, in terms of investment, not at the company, <laughs> not for sales. But uh, no, we, we have, I would say today, 500 clients. Uh, we traded 1.5 billion last year. We are a very active uh, player in the market. But we are really, at the, I would say, at the beginning of our, of our history. But would you, uh, would you be open to selling to, say, a big bank, a big traditional bank? Not yet. We have lots to do before. And, and it's not the, the mission I would say today. Today, we are really uh, uh, seeking to achieve our mission. Uh, we started, I would say, like climbing like um, our first Matterhorn, if I may ask, uh, may I use this, this uh, uh, analogy, was in 2015, again, when we created the first monitor for wealth managers in order for them to follow all their bank's product in one place. In 2018, we're the first independent player in the world market to digitalize the full investment process of a certain product. Now, 2020, we, are, we, we really realize we're not a startup anymore. We are a build-up company, and it may be potentially the next biggest uh, Matterhorn will be, I would say for, for me, education. We'll be democratizing, we'll be removing the mystery even more. I really think, Anna, that the market is not using in, uh, 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 enough the certain product. I really think there is a huge market to be, to be covered. Still. And how do you see fintechs in general? I know that you can only speak from your experience, but do you think that we'll see more fintechs uh, collaborating with traditional wealth managers in the future? Definitely. I would say but this is it's always the case. You find amazing fintech today uh, partnering with wealth managers. I'm actually doing partnerships with other fintechs, not doing my job together in order to, to provide an even bigger service to wealth managers. I recently partnered with uh, a, um, a custodian aggregator fintech. Uh, basically, uh, a fintech that is providing many, many custodians to the high net worth individuals, many banks where he can deposit his money where me, I'm like an investment bank aggregator. So we are quite complementary. So yes, this is all, all for the benefits of the clients, I would say, for the, for the high net worth individuals, investors. Are you just a robo-advisor for wealth managers then? Sorry to say, not at all. We really believe that uh, uh, wealth, uh, um, we really want to empower the wealth managers. We really want the, the wealth managers to take the best decision, decisions thanks to us thanks to our technology, thanks to our human expert. But we don't believe that robot advisors are going to replace wealth managers. I really believe that the future is, and the sky is very blue for the wealth managers, for example, in Switzerland. Then the, the, I would say the, the challenge for them is to espouse, is to really adopt uh, the digital transformation. I think it's very important. But I really believe in pure time in the combo between uh, uh, the best customer experience and the best tech in order to serve the, the investors. And, and how do you see the coronavirus crisis impacting um, digitalization in your sector as a whole? I mean, how has the experience been for you? Uh, as I told you before, I think, I will say that coronavirus uh, uh, made uh, the tech adoption accelerated. Like there were like, I would say coronavirus accelerated the, the tech adoption. Uh, we had plus 40% users of our platform during the confinement. Uh, I guess that um, some Swiss private bankers and wealth managers were potentially confined, I, I hope for them, in, in some beautiful mountains. And they were able, thanks to Parity, my platform, to, to work 100%. It's interesting that you said the sky is blue for wealth managers because especially here in Switzerland, we've seen a lot of consolidation um, in, in the past few years. And there is a prediction of yet more consolidation to come. How do you see the wealth management um, landscape going forward? I would say consolidation is not new, if I may. Uh, I've been working with Swiss wealth managers since 17 years, and I always saw my clients regrouping together in terms of uh, aggregating their, uh, their compliance, aggregating their, their cost to be in order to be cost efficient. I always saw this, this kind of uh, consideration. So, so I don't think it's that new. 
then I think it's a good thing for these people to, to, to do this. But I really think that these people also should, should adopt the, the digital transformation, choosing the best offer that they can find in the market. I think we are one at Prima Tam. I think we have a good offer for these people. But really for them, if, they, if there is a concentration of the market, if they are seeking for cost reduction, this is where actually Prima Tam can help, help us. I really think that uh, a transaction, thanks to, thanks to a platform like ours, is go, are going to be cheaper, better, faster. And, and what other um, opportunities do you see out there for you within the wealth management sector? If you can tell me. <laughs> uh, luckily, we were first in doing, in doing uh, 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 something in 15, in 18. So the next one is a little secret. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might say that. I thought you might say that. Stan Paramat, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anna. Okay. All right, well, you can catch up with all our content by logging onto our website. It's cnedmoney.ch. And you can also follow us, of course, on Instagram. We're on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Bye-bye.